what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good so in today's video i have this two-in-one um, led lamp and nail drill to share with you guys i thought this was really unique because i've never seen like a portable nail drill with a mini lamp like a two-in-one like that so i thought it was really cool um, and I really like the design of it and everything. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name of the brand. I think it's Nice Bowl or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, I didn't see anybody else who had a review on it or anything. So yeah, that's what it looks like it says to me. But if you know any different, let me know in the comments section. Um, but yeah, so this is a user manual. It basically um, breaks down like all the parts of the drill and everything. Um, and how to like put it together and operate it and what each of the drill bits does that comes with the drill um, and also like precautions and other things like that like warranty so yeah let's go ahead and unbox you get a little dust brush it's so cute I love the little rhinestone design I think mine was like you know pushed together but I think it will like spread out after you use it for a bit but yeah this is the hand piece it's like a nice silver hand piece um, so you turn it left to unlock it and right to lock it um, and it does like work with all your standard size drill bits um, and this is actually the drill i really love the design it's actually really lightweight surprisingly i thought it would be heavy but it's not um, and then you flip it over and it has like little legs for the lamp and it stands up on your nail desk i thought that was so cute it actually charges by usb um, so after you charge it you can actually use it um like wireless um so yeah that's cool too and this is the plug to plug the hand piece into the lamp and these are the drill bits they're just like standard cuticle bits and sanding bands so i'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys how the drill works um it does come a little bit charged which is good it takes like i think a total of a couple hours to charge it um, so yeah, I'm gonna let you guys listen to it. Actually, it goes from zero to thirty-five thousand RPMs. Um, so I'm just kind of like starting off at a low speed and going up to a higher speed, so that you guys can hear how it sounds. Obviously, when you get higher, it does get louder, um, but not too loud. It's like about the same as any other drill I've tried, really. I mean, you do have a forward and reverse, and you can actually pause it. Um, if you just tap the power button once which is really cool as well um, and to turn it on and off you would hold the power button for three seconds and to turn the uv lamp on you would press and hold the uv button for two seconds um, so yeah i really like how everything is like an all-in-one and it has low vibration and everything like that it's not like you know really shaky or anything which i really like it's a really nice um, piece of equipment if you're looking for like a lamp and a drill this would be like perfect and it cures really good like you could literally cure your nails with this um, lamp like it's really powerful it doesn't say how many watts it is in the manual I tried to look for it but yeah I don't see that but it does cure very well this is it curing and as always I will leave the links in the description box if you guys are interested in this nail drill All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. I'll be using the lamp during this tutorial. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing an all poly gel set. I prep my nails off camera as always, and I do have a little bit of Madame Glam base gel on my nails. Um, it's like their rubber base in the shade India. I've been using this lately to strengthen my nails. I really like it a lot. I'm not sure if it's still available because I haven't looked on the website. But yeah, anyways, I'll link my poly gel prep video in the cards if you want to see like how I prep my nails and stuff. But yeah, the inspo behind today's set is like a rainbow galaxy. I have these really cute little space charms, which are really popular and trending right now in the nail community. Um, and the colors in the little diamond on the space charm is what inspired me to do this set today. So I'm using like the ones with like the multicolor on the inside of them. So I'm basically using the colors that I see in the charm. Um, so there's like green, pink, blue, I see a little bit of purple and kind of like a yellowish gold color. So I found the perfect poly gel kit to 
like do this design with um the to be glam all glitters poly gel kit it has a bunch of really pretty glittery poly gels um the only colors i'm not using from that one are the purple one but the rest of them are from to be glam so yeah it's going to be like a colorful like galaxy type of vibe that was like the inspo um so yeah on each nail i'm going to be using different colors so on this one i used purple um like the yellow color and i also used green and i think i used a little bit of pink um, so I kind of like put a dot of each color on the nail and towards the top I use the color cheeky from a cart which is just like a nude pink shade basically I put all of the poly gels on the nail first and then I use the other end of my poly gel brush to first kind of like swirl the color cheeky into the glitter shades and then swirl all the glitter shades together um, to create kind of like a marble of the colors and then I start patting them in place but I only want the color cheeky up near the nail bed area um, so it kind of like looks like an ombre when you pat everything in place I call this like the lazy ombre <laughs> where like you don't actually do an ombre but like it kind of looks like it if that makes sense I don't know I didn't want like the glitters all over the nail just on the tip of the nail and I kind of wanted like a nude nail bed but I didn't want it to be like a super neat nail bed I just wanted to kind of like fade into the tip if that makes like any sense which it probably doesn't but if you know you know <laughs> so yeah I'm just like patting the poly gel in place and when I start like I said I'm starting up towards the nail bed area and just keeping that nude pink shade in that area and patting the rest of the poly gel in place I am going to be encapsulating these nails um, because I'm adding glitters on top of them but yeah these were so cute so on this nail instead of doing the same color I used purple green and blue and like swirled them together which was really nice as well and then I am like flash curing in this lamp you can actually um cure your nails in this lamp I did try it like at the end of my set at first I didn't think it was going to cure all the way through but I did try it like after I encapsulated them and it actually cured them but anyways so on this nail I'm basically doing the same thing just using a different color combination with those same colors um so the pink shade I'm using is called fantasy I'm using the green shade flossy I'm using the blue shade airtime and the like yellowish gold shade called Big Smile from the Two Week Glam All Glitters Poly Gel Kit. And then I'm using another purple color from another one of their poly gel kits called Oshi oh Pretty. And this was just like the perfect combo for this set. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna do this for the rest of the nails.
Now I'm going to be taking this blue jelly gel polish from a cart and lightly brushing it over the tips of the nails. This gel polish actually has stars in them and tinsel. They're both like holographic. Um, but the jelly polish is like a really um, light blue. So if you brush it over the tip of the nails lightly, it's not really going to alter the color. Um, I never really knew what I was going to do with this gel polish, but I feel like it was literally made for this set. Um, so I feel like adding this over the tips of the nails really like took the nails to like the next level. Like, I don't know. I feel like it just like really tied everything together because the whole theme of the set is like a rainbow galaxy and then adding the stars just like really took it there. Um, so if I get like some of the gel polish that kind of like pools up in one area, I do use the brush to spread it out so that you can't really tell that I brushed like another color over the tip of the nails. Um, it just kind of looks like I put glitter over them and even just this light tint of blue over the nails gave the nails more of a dreamy vibe so I really did like that. Um, so I'm basically just dipping my brush back into the polish to get more stars and spreading them out onto the nail. There's actually a lot of glitter in here um, so I didn't really have any trouble getting the glitter out of it. Um, and the color is called Taylor Turquoise, by the way. So I'm just going to do this and then go ahead and cure. And now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the nails. I'm using McCart Clear Poly Gel. Um, so I'm just squeezing it right onto the nail. I'm also using some base gel as a slip solution. And I'm also using a little bit of the 2-in-1 nail cleanser from one of the McCart Poly Gel kits. Um, just to clean my brush off if it gets sticky but yeah i just squeeze the poly gel right onto the nails and i brush a little bit of the base gel over it and then start patting it in place as always i start by the cuticle area and i use that rounded end that comes out of the poly gel bottle um, towards the top to build my apex so i don't brush it down much i just focus it in that area and the rest of the poly gel i pat sidewall to sidewall all the way down the nail and then just kind of like remove any excess poly gel and use my brush to smooth the nails out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all you got to do. Um, it's poly gel, so you definitely have that time to smooth the nails out and get them as neat as possible before you cure in your lamp.
Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the nail drill. So I'm gonna start off on 15,000 RPMs to file my nails, and I'm gonna demonstrate with the um, standing band and the man drill bit. I'm using a medium grit so that it actually takes off, you know, some product. Um, so I'm just gonna demonstrate with this one on two nails. My camera kind of like died when I got to the end of the filing on the second nail. Um, but you get the point. I mean, it works really good. Um, as you can see, it's taking off product pretty fast. Um, I'm just like kind of debulking right now. I usually like to do that first before I do my shaping, but it takes off product really fast. Um, poly gel is really easy to follow as well. So even with this mandrel bit, it's like effortless, if you know what I mean. It's also like low vibration. I didn't have like any shakiness or anything like that that was out of the normal or anything. So yeah, this is a really good like little portable drill. Um, and I like how lightweight it is. I thought it was gonna be like on the heavier side because other portable drills that I've tried, um, they were like a little bit weighted, but this one is actually really, really light for it to be like a two-in-one lamp and drill. Um, so yeah, as you could see, I'm filing up this nail as well. I also make sure to go along the sides of the nail um, to like kind of like taper it in so I don't have as much hand filing to do. But as you can see, I'm going around the cuticle and smoothing over the nails and my camera did die, but now I'm switching my drill bit. I'm using it with one of my drill bits. Um, like I said, this drill will work with any like standard drill bits. So I'm using a fine grit safety bit and I'm basically doing the same thing going around the cuticle and smoothing over the nails, going underneath the nails. And as you can see with this one, since this one is a little bit more powerful than the mandrel bit, it takes off product pretty fast and quickly as well, just like the other one. All right, so now I'm gonna try out a couple of the little diamond bits. So this one is a needle head bit. You can use it to kind of clean around the cuticle area, um, like along the nail edge and underneath like your nails, um, but it doesn't really like do a whole lot. Um, I really prefer like regular cuticle bits, um, but I think these are more for like cleaning under your nails and stuff or like natural nail prep. Um, so the next bit that I'm gonna be using um, is the cone bit and this one can actually be used to buff the surface of your nails um, polish the nail edges and the cuticle area so that's what I did this one actually did make more of a difference um, so yeah the rest of them pretty much do the same thing they're like not anything like that great all of these drill bits always come with your nail drills I do recommend getting like a good set of drill bits. I prefer ceramic ones. I do have a lot of drill bit recommendations in my Amazon store, which I do have the link to in the description box. Um, so you can find like my favorite drill bits under the category nail products because I have my Amazon store split into different categories. So it would be found under the category nail products. So yeah, I'm just filing the rest of the cuticle area with this cuticle bit from Dashboard Beauty. 
Um, this really helps to seal around the cuticle area so that you don't get like lifting or anything like that. And now I'm going to take my hand file and just go ahead and shape up the nails. I like doing this as a last step because I feel like you get a sharper shape that lasts longer this way. Um, so I'm doing a long tapered square as usual. So I'm holding my hand file straight and taking the bulk off the sides. Then I'm angling my file in towards the tip and just filing the tip in to taper it in a little bit. Of course, if you wanted like more of a coffin look, you can file the tip in more. But like I said, I'm doing a tapered square, so I'm not tapering them in too much, but I also don't want them too wide. Um, and to file the free edge, you can hold your file at an angle, but keep it straight and file straight across so that your nails come out even. I usually make the first three nails the same length, the pinky slightly shorter and the thumb slightly longer so that it just like, you know, everything flows together really nicely. And when I'm done filing, I always buff the nails to make sure there's no scratches. To finish up, I'm going to use some McCart rhinestone glue to attach my space charms. I'm using the multicolor ones on these four nails and on the thumbs I'm actually using a solid pink just to make it a little bit different and unique. Um, it's a nail art so you can always have fun with it. Um, and this is like a really unique set so yeah I just felt like doing something different. I don't know. I really love these little space charms. I've been seeing them all over Instagram. And I've been dying to like get them. I'm so glad I did. I will link them down below in the description box as well. Um, but yeah, you just want to make sure that they're in the gel really good. They do like slide around a little bit. So you want to make sure they're straight before you go ahead and cure them. So after I cure them, I'm actually going to be applying more rhinestone gel on the pointer and the ring finger. And I have these little like round pearls and clear like little bubbles from one of the McCart. Um, nail decor sets so I'm going to be placing those like around the space charms on those two nails and I thought it just like looked really cool and added something really pretty to the set um, and after that I'm just going to go ahead and top coat the nails with some McCart top gel and that's pretty much it I do a cure in my lamp for 60 seconds and yeah I'm like totally obsessed with the way these turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments do you like them would you wear something like this 
um, I would love to hear your thoughts and if you're new to the channel please subscribe because I post nail tutorials in every week and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you do get notified when I post a video um, and if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you go ahead and do that so we can stay up to date on there as well and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye love you guys